10 African myths that will shock you. Forget Hercules for a moment and allow African mythology to blow your mind. From the freaky showstoppers that give more chills than the finest horror movies to lighter and funny legends passed from time immemorial, Africa has the most diverse stories to tell. Prepare to be wowed out of your boots by the following larger than life myths. Welcome to this floor and sit tight as we unveil to you 10 African myths that will leave you speechless. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications in order not to miss out on any of our uploads. Number 10. Nyami Nyami The Zambezi River God, better known as the Nyami Nyami, is said to be the lone author of some of the Caribbean area's strangest of occurrences. The Serpentine God is a central point of Batonga mythology and one who needs to be prepared for a showdown with Nyami Nyami if he plans to disturb the peace. The Kariba Dam project, which had its fair share of tragedies, was a paradigm shift in the lives of the Batonga, and they did not like it at all. They were convinced that Nyami Nyami would have none of it, and indeed several workers died and disappeared in a mysterious flood. They only resurfaced after a sacrifice was offered to appease the raging god. Nobody messes with the giant serpentine's people and gets away with it. Number 9. The Human Eating Tree of Madagascar from the treacherous waters of the Zambezi, one probably now wants to walk on solid ground. However, from this ground grows another monster of epic proportions in Madagascar, the human-eating tree. This tree will catch people with its branches and open its bark to swallow them whole. Only the woodpecker's magical powers are said to be able to save the victim, but the services of the bird come at the fee. Seems like the bird found its entrepreneurial niche and its reaping profits. Number 8. The Spirits of the Kikuyu There is no worse crime than murder, and the spirits of the Kikuyu people know how to make murderers pay. It is said that the spirit of the victim hangs around as a ghost and pursues the murderer. The spirit is referred to as the Ngoma. The Ngoma only rests when the murderer turns himself into the police. However, in Zimbabwe, the Shona people have what they call Ngozi. This is a curse one attracts after murdering another. Only a sacrifice of cattle can appease the vengeful spirits of the murdered. Morale. Stay away from murder if you do not have cattle. Number 7. Anansi the Trickster God One of Africa's favorite mythological characters is this almost cunning and almost good enough trickster who always almost succeeds but never does. Who is a better writer of epic quarks than Anansi, the West African God? He is usually in the form of a spider and he always has a new trick up his sleeve. If the world ever wakes up and finds that all the wisdom of gold is gone, then it might just be Anansi who took it. Thankfully, this is highly unlikely since Anansi's plans always fail. That is quite a relief. Number 6. The Queen of Sheba After the never-ending tricks of a conniving deity, who better to turn to from sanity and class to the world than the mysterious yet fascinating Queen of Sheba? Her full name is never mentioned, she is just the Queen of Sheba. Scholars believed her kingdom was in the Ethiopian region and the royalty thereof claims to be the descendants of the children born unto the Queen and King Solomon. They call her Makeda in Ethiopian legend. She is that Makeda who visited King Solomon and made him vow not to torture. She is the name Makeda who the king said was not to take a thing from him if he wants not to torture. Makeda took some water to quench her thirst and the rest is history. The king could now torture and he did. Number 5. The Lovedu Rain Queen Ever heard of queens who make it rain? Forget modern pop culture that has people who claim to make it rain, figuratively. The Lovedu Rain Queen's Mujaji literally make a splash. The Mujaji is said to be an embodiment of the rain goddess and even a state of mind can change the weather. She can send storms to punish enemies or gentle rain to nurture friends. Every year, the queen exhibits her rain-making powers at Gamujaji in the Mpumalanga, South Africa, while people watch her. All queens commit suicide at 60 to make way for her new lord. The cycle of the Mujaji is therefore perpetual. If one is looking for enemies, better find those that do not send storms when they are mad. Number 4. The Biloko According to legend, the Biloko are restless ancestral spirits that harbor resentments towards the living. They are dwarf-like beings believed to roam the thickest areas of the rainforest in Zai. The Biloko are wild and violent lords with a fitting appearance that is ugly as the intent. They have no hair long sharp claws, sharp teeth, and spectacular mouths that can swallow a human being whole. You might want to take a rain shirk on that rainforest trip after all. Number 3. The Origin of Elephants 
The Kama tribe of Kenya believes that elephants originated from man because of their intelligence. They believe a poor man was given ornaments that could make his wife's canines grow and he would take them out all oneself. He amassed great wealth but only until the wife refused to let him take out her teeth. She then grew thick and grey skin and went into the wild when she gave birth to the first herd of elephants. Is there any explanation more intriguing than this one? Highly unlikely. Number 2. The Hippopotamus The female Hippopotamus is almost always a goddess in African mythology. She was known as Tawaret, the goddess of fertility and childbirth in ancient Egypt. The Ronga of Mozambique tell the legend of a mother who gave a hippo her baby to protect it from a fall. The mother hippo would come with the baby to suckle from its mother every night. Gone are the good old days. You cannot trust the hippo with a baby in our times, not in Mozambique and not anywhere else. Number 1. The Beginning Akan mythology says that the first man to emerge on the surface of the earth was Adu Ogini. All humans used to live deep within the earth until one day, seven men, five women, a leopard and a dog crawled out of a giant hole burrowed by a massive wall. Conclusion African myths continue to form an integral part of culture as they give an idea of where everything came from, what happened after and what might happen in the future. The myths are so intertwined with reality that it is usually hard to even separate the two. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, comment and share with your friends. Why not give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting?